and we found that these particular sequences, they have seven Omicron mutations. They are not found in any other strains. In a background of viruses that there are otherwise Delta. So you have Delta and then you have the small piece that is Omicron. I believe that is not really a recombination effect or if it's a recombination, there were multiple recombinations. And the reason I'm saying that is that uh, we find that phenomenon in many lineages, at least in 12 lineages of Delta. So it happened in, in evolutionary um, um, trajectory of Delta strains. We have another 27 sequences that they have different stages of the mutation. They may have one, two, three, four, five, six, but not seven. So that indicates the easy explanation to this data, at least to me, it indicates an evolutionary pressure in an ancestral strain of Delta to create Omicron-like strains. It has higher frequencies among hospitalized patients in comparison with non-hospitalized patients with high statistical significance. So this, this result is not random. So there is an association, that's all I can say at this point, an association of this mutation with hospitalizations.